On July 11, 2024, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket experienced a dramatic failure when its upper stage engine malfunctioned, shattering hopes mid-flight. Just as the mission seemed poised for success, a catastrophic overpressure event derailed it all. What went wrong with this reliable workhorse of space exploration? Let's delve into the details and find out about what actually happened. First things first, what is the Falcon 9? Falcon 9 is a medium-lift, partially reusable rocket designed, built, and launched by SpaceX, an American aerospace firm. It can deliver both personnel and cargo into Earth orbit, and it can also serve as a replaceable heavy-lift launch vehicle. On June 4, 2010, Falcon 9 had its maiden flight. And on October 8, 2012, the first commercial Falcon 9 resupply mission to the International Space Station was launched. It was the first commercial rocket to send a person into orbit in 2020. With only one flight failure, it became the American rocket with the most launches in history and the best safety record in 2022. With its superb technicalities, they were sure about this flight as well. The rocket comprises two stages. The first booster stage propels the second stage in payload to a predetermined speed and altitude, after which the second stage accelerates the payload to its intended orbit. The booster can land vertically to allow reuse. This was first accomplished on Flight 20 in December 2015. As of July 12, 2024, SpaceX had successfully landed 314 Falcon 9 rockets. Individual boosters have flown up to 22 flights. SpaceX Merlin engines power both stages, which use cryogenic liquid oxygen and rocket-grade kerosene as propellant. On January 24, 2021, Falcon 9 achieved a record for the most satellites launched by a single rocket, putting 143 into orbit. Rockets from the Falcon 9 family have been launched 364 times over 14 years, resulting in 361 complete successes. The Falcon 9 is the most prolific rocket flying today, with 69 flights already scheduled for 2024. The Falcon 9 is known for its dependability, as it only had one full in-flight failure in its long history, which occurred in June 2015 during the launch of a robotic Dragon supply capsule towards the International Space Station. The Falcon 9 is also human-rated. It has flown 13 crewed missions so far, with nine of them sending people to the ISS for NASA. The latest Falcon 9 took off from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California at 10.35 p.m. EDT on Thursday, 11th of July, as scheduled. The rocket was carrying 20 Starlink satellites, 13 of which had direct-to-sell payloads, on a mission called Group 93 by SpaceX. However, during the first burn of the second stage, onlookers noticed an odd buildup of ice on the cover around the Merlin engine. That buildup, which is unusual for Falcon 9 launches, didn't appear to have an impact on the stage's performance. The rocket's ascension to orbit appeared to go according to plan, with the first stage landing like a regular drone ship. The Merlin engine looked a bit off to them on this flight, which was quite unusual. The icy cover was visible on SpaceX's launch webcast, a sight which was not only unusual, but could also mean a leak in the propellant. That's all a guess, though. Neither SpaceX nor Elon Musk, the founder and CEO, have stated anything about the ice as of yet. The stage was supposed to make a one-second engine run 52 minutes and 20 seconds after launch to circularize the orbit before deploying the Starlink satellites. SpaceX, which had terminated its launch webcast at this moment, did not immediately confirm either milestone. The Falcon 9 performed smoothly at first, its two stages separated on schedule, and the first stage landed on a drone ship approximately eight minutes after liftoff, as intended. The second stage's vacuum-rated Merlin engine must be fired twice during a Starlink launch, so everything was perfectly fine. Onboard cameras captured stunning footage of the initial second stage burn, with the engine's nozzle burning bright red against the dark background of space. The cameras also captured strange ice buildups on the rocket's side, as well as a continual stream of frozen clumps separating and vaporizing in the engine's blazing yet translucent exhaust. Ice buildup on rockets is not uncommon but the amount noticed during Thursday's launch was far more than on previous flights, implying an issue of some sort. However, live coverage and debate on the social media platform X ceased after confirmation of the first stage engine shutdown, or about 8 minutes and 40 seconds after liftoff, in accordance with SpaceX protocol for Starlink launches. The payload deploys around 7 minutes after the first fire concludes, or about 59 minutes after launch, and that burn occurs about 45 minutes after launch. The rocket's upper stage, which was carrying 20 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit, encountered a glitch, according to Elon Musk. Upper stage restart to race perigee resulted in an engine RUD for reasons currently unknown, Elon Musk posted on his social media two hours after liftoff on the 12th of July 2024. RUD stands for Rapid Unscheduled Disassembly, or an explosion, he continued. Starlink satellites were deployed, but the perigee may be too low for them to raise orbit. We'll know more in a few hours. 
He said that the team had been busy with updating the satellite software to run the ion thrusters at their equivalent of Warp 9. During tonight's Falcon 9 launch of Starlink, the second stage engine did not complete its second burn. As a result, the Starlink satellites were deployed into a lower than intended orbit. SpaceX has made contact with five of the satellites so far and is attempting to have them raise orbit using their ion thrusters, the company wrote. Elon added, unlike a Star Trek episode, this will probably not work, but it's worth a shot. The satellite thrusters need to raise orbit faster than atmospheric drag pulls them down or they burn up. The Falcon 9 is also human-rated, as mentioned earlier, and to date, it has launched 13 crewed flights, nine of which have delivered astronauts to the ISS for NASA. At this time, it's unknown how Thursday's event would affect the rocket and its manifest. SpaceX must first determine what happened and how to address the issue. Most Falcon 9 missions now serve the massive and ever-expanding Starlink Mega Constellation, which presently has more than 6,100 operational satellites. 49 of the 69 Falcon 9 launches in 2024 have been dedicated to Starlink. SpaceX is working on a highly detailed timeline of the incident, accurate to the millisecond, to determine the exact sequence of events leading to the failure. This includes verifying if some data might be corrupted or if there's a coherent theory that explains the failure. According to Jonathan McDowell, an astrophysicist and spaceflight expert, the launch placed the upper stage in an initial transfer orbit of 138 by 295 kilometers prior to the second circularization burn. When the engine anomaly occurred during that brief burn will decide the satellite's perigee and, as a result, whether they can avoid immediate re-entry. The mishap marks the first partial or entire failure of a Falcon since a pad explosion during a pre-flight test in September 2016, which destroyed the rocket and its communications satellite payload. The Falcon 9's previous in-flight failure occurred in June 2015, when the upper stage broke apart during the launch of a Cargo Dragon spacecraft. Thursday's launch marked SpaceX's 69th Falcon 9 flight this year and 354th overall since the rocket's debut in 2010. Prior to the latest launch, SpaceX had completed 344 successful Falcon 9 missions in a row. Given its high flight rate and difficulties in developing alternative launch vehicles, the global space industry has grown more reliant on the Falcon 9 for space access. A diverse spectrum of countries and companies have used the Falcon 9 to launch satellites. This includes enterprises competing with SpaceX's Starlink constellation, as well as European government agencies. The Falcon 9 failure on July 11, 2024 was a significant setback for SpaceX, yet it underscores the complexities and risks involved in space exploration. This also affects human spaceflight. The Falcon 9 was set to launch a Crew Dragon spacecraft on the Polaris Dawn private astronaut mission at the end of July, followed by another Crew Dragon on the Crew 9 mission in mid-August to bring four astronauts to the ISS for a six-month mission. NASA has relied on SpaceX to access the ISS due to delays and issues with Boeing's CST-100 Starliner spacecraft development. Right now, NASA and SpaceX are ensuring that all potential causes of the failure are thoroughly investigated before resuming Falcon 9 launches. This meticulous process involves ruling out each potential cause by consensus among all investigating entities. As investigations continue, the insights gained will undoubtedly contribute to enhancing the reliability and safety of future missions. Stay tuned as SpaceX works towards bouncing back stronger, armed with lessons learned from this incident. What are your thoughts on Falcon 9's recent upper stage failure? Do you think it'll impact SpaceX's future missions? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space and technology. See you next time.